these are all of the new things that's standard for 2024. The car was fully redesigned and I did like an hour long review of the car. So through limousine on the ride quality is sublime. They have really tuned that air suspension to perfection and there's only two trim levels with the G90. You have the twin turbocharged three and a half liter V6 with 375 horsepower and 391 pounds feet of torque. However, the one that I recommend is the E supercharged model. Not for the extra power, but that's something else that you get. You have the same engine paired with a electric supercharger for more immediate power delivery. And we now have 409 horsepower and 405 pounds feet of torque. This is the model I tested in the review and it's cool. It's certainly effortless. Obviously a V8 would have been perfect, but whatever. The engine is still quiet and the eight speed automatic transmission is excellent and all wheel drive is standard with both of these trims fuel economy really isn't bad the base model gets 18 city 26 highway the e supercharger it drops it to 17 city 24 highway but those are real world numbers you will actually meet and even exceed those numbers by at least one or two mpg but the main reason for going with the e supercharged model it's about a hundred thousand dollars and the base model is ninety thousand but for that extra $10,000, you're getting all of the executive limousine features like your reclining seats. You also get the air suspension that I tested uh, with the e-supercharged model. And as I already mentioned, uh, that is flawless, but I'm sure Genesis also did a great job with the base model uh, standard adaptive suspension as well. But the air ride was great. You also get the updated 23 speaker Bang & Olufsen audio system. And once again, in the rear, you get the wireless charging pads. You get uh, the power adjustability that I mentioned, along with ventilated and massage rear seats as well. And I don't know who designed these wheels, but whoever they are, I really want to shake their hand and congratulate them because both of the wheel options here, okay, the base model 20s and the e-supercharger 21-inch wheels, these are the most exquisite wheels I have ever seen in my life. I mean, the person who designed these wheels, they should be working at Forgiato, HRE, or something. I hope Hyundai is paying this person handsomely because these wheels, they're next level. So yeah, it's worth getting the e-supercharged model. This is a proper limousine. If you want a old school flagship luxury sedan experience, this is it. Honestly, this car really exudes that flagship quality where you're just floating along on the road. And there was a gentleman who saw my video, a very wealthy gentleman, who was considering either a new Rolls-Royce Ghost or a new Mercedes S-Class. He saw my review of the G90. He was convinced. He went and test drove one, loved it, and he ended up buying that G90, the new one, as his daily driver over the Rolls-Royce Ghost and the Mercedes S-Class. But this gentleman, he was already balling with cash to begin with. Most people who are reaching, when they hear six figures or $100,000 for a new car, they automatically, they want that foreign car. Foreign car meaning Mercedes, BMW, or Audi. They do not want to be posted up in this G90. They don't care if this is worse than the European competitors, they want that Euro car. People do the most out here. To cop a Benz, to cop a Beamer, or an Audi, they literally, they sacrifice their souls. I mean, they go crazy for a Euro car. They sacrifice it all. And really, you, you don't have to do all that, family. Like, you know, you can lease some of these Euro cars for five, six, seven hundred bucks a month. Like, it ain't that serious. But obviously, once you get to this level, the six-figure level with uh, some of these 
100, $120,000 Euro cars and this Genesis, you're gonna be paying at least a thousand to 1500 bucks a month for a lease. And leasing is really what I recommend. And sadly, with these G90s, both the 23s and the 24s, they're gonna be leasing between 1100 to 1200 bucks a month. And how did I come up with these figures? Well, I have a free leasing calculator linked in the description box below provided to you by Auto Companion. And this is a powerful tool because it shows you the interest rate of the lease for that particular month because leasing programs change every month. And that's why you need a leasing calculator like this at your disposal so you can keep up with the changing and updating uh, leasing programs as well as the incentives. That's the other thing. This calculator will show you the incentives that's available to you for your region and if you qualify for it. So I was on Car Gurus and I literally saw one dealership advertise a e-supercharged $100,000 G90 for $85,000. There was one dealership like that. Most of the others were around 9K off or $5,000 off or even just being sold at sticker. So a lot of these the Genesis dealerships, they're not interested in moving these cars. They do not care. They're going to hang on to these cars like an heirloom. And these cars are just going to have birthdays on the dealership lot. Because again, it's hard to sell people on these cars. And I took it. I took the best deal. Okay. 100K car selling for $85,000. That's 15% off. The interest rate on a 2023 lease is less than 1%. It's, it's basically 0%. It's 0.29%. So that's absolutely nothing. And I believe there's about $2,000 in incentives that just about anyone can qualify for. So that's a total of $17,000 off the MSRP of a new G90. The lease is still gonna be 1200 bucks a month. Why? Because the residual value is trash. <laughs> in three years, they're thinking that the residual value is gonna be 46%. And that's really what's killing these lease deals. I remember back in the day, these things used to go for seven, 800 bucks a month. That's where it was at. Now that's really taking advantage of the system. If these cars were selling at 700 bucks a month, I'll just go buy one for no reason, honestly. That's how good these cars are, but it's not. It's almost double that and it's a shame because we have incentives. I literally uh, took the best selling price of 85 grand. The interest rate is almost zero and it's still this expensive and that's unfortunate. Uh, it's still going to be the cheapest option. I've seen some people get a Mercedes S500 for around 1000 to 1100 bucks a month, but that's because they were doing the most. They were doing a one-pay lease. They were putting down multiple security deposits. They were chasing after loaner cars, uh, vehicles that had some mileage on it. And that's how they ended up getting those $1,000, $1,100 a month S-Class deals. Your 7 Series and your LS 500s, that's going to be around $1,500 a month. I think Audi, you might be able to get an A8 for around a grand a month. And honestly, I feel like most people would rather just get the Audi over this Genesis because it's everyone's dream in life to have and operate a European flagship vehicle. But regardless, I just thought I would share this tool with you this auto companion leasing calculator. I'll have it linked in the description box below. You can play around with that. And if you appreciate resources and knowledge like this, consider liking and subscribing. But thank you so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.